VOIP architecture. Here we see how VOIP works. From the last lesson, you got some idea about Skype. Now here we'll see the architecture. As you know, VOIP is a cheaper way of communicating over the internet. Various infrastructures have been developed to increase both the efficiency and effectiveness of both the VOIP systems and the VOIP architecture. Have a look at the image which shows the VOIP architecture. VOIP, or Voice Over Internet Protocol, is touted in some circles as the technology of the future. VOIP uses a broadband internet connection for routing telephone calls, as opposed to conventional switching. This process holds great promise in providing higher efficiency and lower cost for communication consumers. One interesting aspect of the technology is that it doesn't need large-scale infrastructure. It's all about combining the functionality of the Internet and a conventional phone into one single service with minimal software and hardware support. Now let's see how it works. To implement VOIP, we need a high-speed broadband connection, a router, and a VOIP gateway. Instead of a standard telephone line, the router sends the telephone calls over an Internet connection. The VOIP gateway, placed somewhere in direct proximity of the connected Internet, converts the analog signals into a digital format, which are further broken down into smaller chunks called packets, before sending it over the Internet, much like the way the data is transmitted to and from the computer. Now, these packets are sent to their final destination, and instructions for bringing back into an understandable form are embedded in them. It then goes through a VOIP gateway, where the packets are reconverted into the original analog format, utilizing a PSTN, or Public Switch Telephone Network, thereby routing the call to the number the caller had dialed, blending old-school technology and high-tech delivery into a seamless and instantaneous way. With the use of this VOIP technology, we can make phone calls using IP phones between two computers. IP phones look like normal standard handsets, but they are equipped with an RJ45 Ethernet connector in place of the common RJ11 connectors. These phones come with all the necessary hardware and software preloaded, allowing the user to directly connect to the router, bringing the new user into the cost-effective world of VOIP. PC-to-PC -PC calls are the easiest and most inexpensive way to make use of VOIP technology. There are many companies providing software for free or at reduced cost to encourage consumer experimentation with VOIP. When calling from a PC, all the user may need is a microphone, a suitable sound card, and a reliable internet connection. The service itself may be free of cost in many cases. The only fee the end user may have is the monthly fee for the internet service provider and nothing additional for the actual calls that are made. The biggest advantage of VOIP is that customers can make calls from anywhere in the world where a broadband internet connection is available. The customers can take their IP phones with them on national and international trips and can still manage to access what is essentially an individual's domestic phone line. VOIP is still in its infancy. While it holds great promise, it has some major technical hurdles to jump, such as emergency calling and the need for uninterruptible power sources, such as a PC battery backup. However, as VOIP is set to become more widely available, let's hope there will be reliable solutions in place for the existing problems in the coming years. And who knows, in another five years we may have VOIP system sans a router, and the VOIP service being more common than conventional phone networks that we rely on so heavily today.